We got to do it. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Oh, God, I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm too big. This is the problem. Oh, my God. And welcome back to the Best Besiege Creations. Now, this week we are starting off with another aquatic vehicle. This is the Donair Dio 24 German flying boat. And it also, as you can see, kind of works like a submarine as well. I don't know why this thing's such a low floater, but uh, it floats. That's the important part, and we should be able to take this thing off. Now, you might see behind us as well, we also have a fully destructible tower that we can take out. Now, this isn't supposed to be in the water, but I kind of like that they're on the roof. Almost like they had a flood or something here. So, I thought we'd try and bomb this. Something a little bit different to bomb. These guys also can swim, which is uh, kind of adorable. This used to be a market, I believe, and now it's just a bunch of... Uh destruction and there's gonna be more in the very near future at least hopefully because this is also a bomber so let's get it up into the air and out of the water i mean it, it is good at being a submarine as well but yeah once we get up some speed as you can see it does get to the top of the water so it's just it's just a bad you know floater that's about it now hopefully we can take off quick because we don't have much of a runway here and yeah no problem at all this thing oh, now you can see how pretty this thing is uh, looks absolutely amazing. We have to run this quite slow because we have two very big creations on the map right now. So hopefully it doesn't lag too bad. It's actually feeling pretty good. Now this thing does have rudder control. All the control. Very easy movement as well, which is always nice. We can also lean it. I believe it when I was testing it. It's quite fast as well. Obviously in slow-mo it's hard to tell that. But very quick at turning around for sports size. All right, so as you can see, this is quite a heavily weaponized creation. We got, uh, looks like one, two, three, twelve bombs on this thing. So, yeah, we're obviously going to try and bomb that tower here and see how good we can do. Uh, now, it is quite a fast turner, so we should be far enough away now. Uh, we have to run this in extreme slow motion just because we have two large creations on the map. But, yeah, it is rather fast, rather nimble, and very easy to fly, which is nice. The controls are quite good on this one. Uh, so, yeah, we got some bombs. Hopefully, we can go into a bombing run successfully here. Ooh, I am leaning a bit too hard here. I probably should have used my rudder control. Let's use that now to try and realign ourselves. There we go. Now, that should be going the right way. Look at the amount of damage already. I haven't even bombed it, and it looks like we totally have. So, I don't know how close we should go. This is our first test run here, so we'll see how successful this is. I'm still... It feels like I'm kind of drifting sideways. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, let's just start dropping them, and hopefully one of these will hit. So, I've dropped all my bombs at once. We went balls to the wall. That actually looks pretty good. It's going to be close. First try, are we going to get it? Oh, pull back, pull back. Yeah, I think that's good, man. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, we're going to leave this for a little bit because check out this. Man, that was a really good hit. The poor guys on the roof, they're going down. Okay, I'm going to have to land that plane later, but my God, this tower is actually really impressive. And that's why we can't run this too fast because we got two crazy creations here. It's tumbling. It's going down, I think, man. I don't want to lose my plane either. All right, so yeah, this thing's totally gone, and there we go. Like a Jenga tower, we just lost, man. Well, technically, we won. That was pretty damn good. Okay, let's try and land this thing now. Very rarely, I have a successful bombing run first try, so that kind of shows you how good this plane is. Very easy to fly, very easy to maneuver, and rather large as well, which is always impressive. We got a nice opening over here. You know what? I'll try and land in the rubble, just because that sounds really, really fun. All right, check out this uh, pile of rubble now floating on the water. I don't know why stone floats, by the way, but uh, I'm not going to complain because it looks really, really cool. And I think it's going to be really fun to try and land in this. So, oh, pull up, pull up. Okay, hard to tell how close we are to the water. All right, this is uh, going to be the weirdest landing ever. We're probably going to hurt ourselves. Engine's off. There we go. Get out of my way. <laughs> wow, that was way more soft than I thought. Oh my god, and check out the destruction. Now, I was hoping these things would break apart and crumble. Unfortunately, it's not that destructive, but still, this is a lot of blocks, obviously. And it really did slow down our landing, as you can see. I think we're totally fine, though. We didn't actually damage this thing at all. So talk about a good landing. Ooh, we're really close to the ground, too. All right, well, starting off this besiege with a complete success. Once again, this was the Donair Dio 24 
absolutely awesome flying boat. All right, and let's see this tower as it's supposed to be seen, not underwater here. Why are you guys fighting each other? What the hell? Do we do, do we have a gang fight here? Seriously, they're fighting each other. Oh my god, they, they must have set it up that way. I love it. For for once, they're not fighting me. Excuse me, what are those? I just saw some random black things on the ground. That was weird. Oh my god! That guy just jumped. Oh, okay, well, we're checking out a tank, but there's a lot more things going on. Some guy just friggin' suicided. That was so sad. I don't know why I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh. Okay, but yes, uh, this tank looks extremely impressive. This is the Norinco VT5 main battle tank. It's an auto loader. It's got 23 rounds that auto load in it, and I gotta say, it feels absolutely fantastic. I actually had to turn on the engine in this one. I've never had to do that in a tank before, so I think this one definitely reacts a little bit different compared to uh, the tanks that we're used to in this game. It feels really fast, too. I have to obviously make it go slow, so we'll test it out later at the off-road track and see how good it is. So this actually would be a good distance away. We got lots of shots to play with anyways, so let's check out the weaponry on this awesome-looking tank. I mean, this thing's even got adjustable suspension, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm playing with the front and back suspension right now. So if you did want to, you know, peek over a hill or something... You totally can. My god, this thing's impressive. Got a lot of systems on it that a lot of tanks don't have in Besiege, so we're just gonna make it nice and flat. Nice to see adjustable suspension, though. It is really a thing that's important on tanks. We can totally uh, control the top machine gun as well, so let's actually start with with the little gun. We got the top machine gun here. I went the wrong way. Maybe we can... Let, let, let's, let's go for the small guys in the front. I can't even see them, but we're gonna try and shoot. They're still fighting each other. I don't know if you saw that. Okay, and there we go. So yeah, this is just a giant crossbow. Don't think we're gonna do much damage with this, though, but it's still cool to have an actual machine gun on these things as well. Let's get to the bigger cannon, though. Looks like it is rather accurate. It's hard to tell from how far away we are, though. All right, but now for the big boy cannon. So, yeah, you can totally control this thing. And it's a simple click of one button. Very rarely tanks in Besiege are that easy. So I'm really excited to see the autoloader system. I don't know if we can get inside the tank to see how it is. There is no cameras in there. It looks like it's a pretty complex tank, though. You can see all the shells right there. Oh, I'd love to see how this thing works. All right, got the tower right in my sights. You know what? Let's start at the, up at the top because I don't want the whole thing to fall just yet. We got lots of shots. This is actually a pretty damn big tower as well. Is that as high as I can go? All right, so yeah, I don't think we can aim much higher than that. That's a we're not actually not aiming that high, so a little bit of a bummer, but hey, that's all right. Let's not go into the middle of nowhere though. Let's get back to the sh thing. A little bit of a wobbly turret as well. Oh, is that another guy falling? Yep. All right, rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I love that these guys are suiciding. I, I shouldn't say that. All right, let's give this thing a shot here. Now, I've been having a little bit of a hard time getting this thing to work. There we go! Doesn't seem to want to work when we're actually in the turret view, but there we freaking go. Another suicidal guy up at the top. We just took out a whole freaking wall. Is the whole tower gonna fall? Look at this guy, is he cliffhanging? Oh, there, there he goes. Okay. I'm gonna reload. Oh my god, that the first hit was totally successful. All right, watch out, Fallen, dude. Going again, and same shot! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep, I think that's it for Mr. Tower. Ah, uh, if we can get an another reload in. That thing is about to fall, man. All right, let's see if we can shoot another one. There it goes, I saw it. And bam! Oh, it just went right through it. Look at this, it's going down. Good luck, everybody on the top. Oh, this is fun. I, I need more big towers like this to play with because it's very, very enjoyable. So, yeah, it seems like if you don't use the internal camera or I'm just having random glitches because I have so many mods installed, it works very, very well. But the moment I went inside, uh, yeah, wasn't, didn't want to work. Let's see if we can get another one out. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, totally works, though. Autoloader is indeed good. And uh, it's got a really fast shot, if you haven't noticed that. Let's go see how good it is at off-roading. All right, so we're back to a tank's worst nightmare in Besiege, the suspension test. So we're going to give it a shot here and see how good it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot I had to turn on the engine in this one. Yeah, this is a much weirder design. I have to actually engage the engine, so if that tells me there's, like, some cog gearing we got going on inside this thing. I've never felt a tank like this one, and it's hard to show on video, but it does feel better than most tanks, at least for moving around. 
Now, we still have to run this extremely slowly. We're going, what are we at? 31% right now. So we're going three times the speed of this, basically. Uh, so this is an extremely fast tank, and it seems to be doing very well at dealing with the logs. Most tanks do. The issue comes when we try and get over this thing. So we'll see. Ooh, I hit it. Oh! Already lost its tread. Okay, to be fair, though, we're going much faster than most tanks. I'm actually going to flip this thing. I'm going so fast. I, I can't slow it down. You might have to turn off the engine, actually. I don't know if this has a reverse gear. Yeah, we friggin' flipped her, though. So, yeah, this one kind of drives like a boat with a lever system. So, you can slow the engine down by hitting the down arrow, speed it up by hitting the up arrow. Usually, it's just full throttle or nothing in tanks. Uh, but this one has kind of like gearing, which is really, really nice. So, we're going to go slower this time, being that we don't need to go full throttle. So, you can see I'm kind of crawling at this point now. That's really nice. I never thought how useful that would be in a tank, but... Having different speeds is obviously extremely important. So, yeah, we're going to take our time here. I mean, it doesn't need to go fast. The faster it is, the better. But we, we've we never had a tank successfully do this. So, I don't think this one will be it. But it's nice to see a little bit of a different design. Yeah, I think those tank treads are on their last legs already. Ooh, this is where we died last time. I'm trying to turn while I'm going over these. That's the problem. And also, my turret's turning on its own. It does. I think it has auto-stabilization for the turret. So if you did turn the craft, it's going to keep the turret in the same direction, which is obviously really, really cool as well. Okay, so we're going to speed up a bit. I'd like to... Ooh, you can notice the speed difference the moment I start to engage it. But I do want to try and jump this a little bit so we don't hit the back end on this, because that usually destroys tank treads. And once we land, if we survive it, we're going to slow down. Oh, that was smooth. That was real smooth. we got to watch out for our turret, though. Oh, I'm going in fast. I slowed it down. This is the death pit. There's never been a tank that's been able to do this turn. So if we could do it... Oh, it's just this little part right here where it bites it hard. Come on. Holy crap, I think it's got it. Oh, it's going to rip it a bit here, though. Come on. I can't do much about that. It did it! I don't want to jinx it in case we slide down and it rips off. Damn it! I just jinxed it! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought, I thought it fell off. It looks like, yeah, it's having, oh, they're both falling a little bit. They're both slipping, actually. Oh, it looks like our front wheel got destroyed. Yes, our power wheels both got ripped off the front of the engine. The tread stayed on, but the actual wheels themselves are totally destroyed now. And god damn it, we were so close. One day we'll see the rest of this run. I don't think this one's going to be able to do it. I mean, if we tried a few times, it probably could. But, we'll, oh, wait, it's still moving. Holy crap! I mean, it's it, it's definitely damaged, but it still wants to go. These 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 cogs are just hitting each other and totally locking it in place, though. Still, damn impressive! That was the furthest a tank has gotten on this course. So I will say this is a complete success for a tank. All right, we got a Minecraft golem here as well as a bitchin' ass station wagon. Look at this thing. Now I think yeah, this thing's just gonna chase me. So clearly I'm much faster than it. So we kind of gotta let it do its thing. I kind of want to see what it does though. This is another AI thing that follows you. But yeah, it's a Minecraft golem. I didn't I didn't even know Minecraft had golems to be honest. It's been a long time since I last played. So let's just let him do his thing. You going for the back end? Yeah, he's, he's definitely going. Well, Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, that was actually really impressive. Good job, Mr. Minecraft Golem. Feel free to do it again. Yeah, there we go. So, man, if I had a table, that would be amazing. Okay, I'm actually going to make a table. Who says I don't design and besiege? Look at that. That's the perfect freaking table if I've ever seen one. Please ignore the wobble. So, yeah, I just wanted to see him flip, flip a table because <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious. All right, you grumpy bastard. Let's see you flip it. Do your best job. Okay, that was actually pretty damn impressive. God damn, dude. We just went like... 300 meters. Damn, man. He's he, he's got some strength on him. Looks like he doesn't want to, you know, let me live either. So he's just going for the core block. Well, guys, I, th I, th I think you know what this is. Um, well, you probably don't actually know what it is, but Jesus Christ. This, this, is, this, is, this has gone too far. So this is called Thomas the Legendary Flying Jizz with a Thousand Legs. Yes, that's, that's, that's the creator's name, not mine. It's based off of this picture that is uh, absolutely horrifying. But I guess Thomas is finally escaping the steam engine. And he's a beautiful butterfly, as you can clearly see. I keep saying this. I don't think we can get any worse than this. But every week, you guys surprise me with more Thomas memes. And this is by far the most horrifying thing ever. It also flies. I mean, obviously, check out those wings. But also, it's very good at walking. So yeah, I love that the uh, they added the train, though. Like, him escaping it 
But god damn it, can we stop? This, this, this has gone too far. Like, seriously. And the sad part, well, the good part is it actually works really, really well. Can we back up? Oh, hell yeah, we can. Check out that dance move. Oh, man. Now all we need is a like, game of worms in this. That, that, that would be amazing. Somebody needs to make it. So, yeah, I guess the only thing we got to do now is try and fly with this thing. Uh, oh, my God. I, I do not want to see this thing fly, guys. But we got to do it. Oh, my God. Stop! Stop! Oh god, I'm falling! I'm falling! I'm too big! This is the problem? Oh my god, I can use this like a freaking weapon. Alright, this actually got really, really fun really quickly. Because basically, I'm a giant wrecking ball! Alright, tower, I'm coming in for you. It's hard to really control this thing. Alright, we're falling. Jesus Christ, I just took out the whole night village. This thing is dangerous. I can get up some speed from time to time, but every now and then it kind of pulls my tail around. Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, I, 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 I totally take it back. This is the best creation ever. Because how often can you say you're a giant sperm taking out towers and shit? Oh god, I'm running in. Uh, to be fair, I have to run this in invincibility too. That's why he doesn't seem to get destroyed. Because he can't. Oh, this is so fun though. Okay, let's go, um, let's go try and take out a castle or something. All right, well, Jizzman, this is going to be the most impressive destruction. Oh my god, what? Thomas! What happened, buddy? I'm- wait, I'm in invincibility. I'm in invincibility! How did it break? Thomas is so destructive, he even destroys himself. Okay, come on, Thomas. We can totally do this now. There we go. Keep it up, keep it up. This thing's really freaking fast, too. And there we go. I love it. I love everything about this thing. It is the best creation ever. Because it's not supposed to be a weapon, but it's one of the best friggin' weapons I've ever played with. Coming in! There we go! <laughs> oh, I love you, Thomas. Gotta say, when I first saw this, I didn't expect to love this creation or like anything about it, but damn it, this is why I love Besiege. You don't know what you like until you try it, god damn it. And Thomas, you did a great job taking down that whole tower. Okay, well, can we get any worse than this, guys? I, 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 I don't know if I hope so or hope not at this point, because every time I do, I have a good laugh, but, I mean, it's just, it's taking it a little bit too far at this point. I gotta stop looking at it. It's weird. So yeah, guys, that's Thomas the Legendary Flying Jizz with a thousand legs, and uh, it's a pretty accurate description of it, to be honest. All right, and to end off with, I thought we'd try and play with a useless box. I don't know what it does, but it's said to be a useless box, so I'm gonna... Yep, that's that would be a useless box. So yeah, you can press whatever button you want. Oh, may may maybe not. Two's not working for some reason. Oh, there we go. Now it's working, and a sheep comes out and puts it away. Amazing. Can, can, can it do d m m multiples? Look at that. It knows what to do. So, yeah, that's about it for this one. It really is a useless box, but it's kind of adorable as well. And on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besiege Creations here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely horrifying episode. I'm sorry if I scarred your life, guys, but uh, to be fair, Besiege scars my life every, er every week. So if you wanted to download anything that was in this episode, as always, links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.